This morning, we are making some delicious drinks, celebrating Groundhog Day and a big game ahead. So back with us, fittingly, is the cocktail guru himself, Jonathan Pogash. Welcome back, sir. Thank you very much. Happy well, Super Bowl ha and Groundhog Day. Happy everything. Happy Groundhog Day. I'm thinking we might need some President's Day drinks from you down the line, like a Lincoln's Lager or something. The Lincoln Lager? Yeah. <laughs> the Lincoln Lager? I like but it. But today, <laughs> that's not why you called. Today, we're talking, of course, big game ideas and right. Groundhog Day ideas. So we'll open up with the aviation cocktail. What do we need to know here? So the Aviation Cocktail is a classic cocktail from the 1930s, and I thought I'd make it for you all because of the Atlanta Falcons, birds, aviation, I right? I get it. No, so, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you are kind of on the slower side. I usually. am. Um, what? What? So this what? has a... <laughs> Go for it. This has a, a gin in it, actually, and I have some freshly squeezed lemon juice in there as well. Okay. So I'm putting a little bit of maraschino cherry liqueur. This is a really nice, full-bodied, bold cherry liqueur. Uh, this is Creme Yvette. It is a violet-flavored liqueur. Interesting. It is quite nice. Full-bodied and bold. Full-bodied and bold. Just like me. Yeah. There you go. And that <laughs> was my favorite. Shake. The shake of Palooza. The shake of Palooza, exactly. And we'll just strain it out. It has a really nice color to it. Very good. And we'll put a little lemon wheel in it. And there you go. Oh, it looks Beautiful, good enough to huh? sample, and as luck would have it, I'm ready to do just that. So good, let me please. test this for the folks out there to enjoy. And, and as you will we'll start to prepare, to the the, yes, the Floyd Fizz. The Floyd Fizz, named after Michael Floyd, mm -hmm. right? Um, hopefully everyone will do very well. I'm sure they oh, will. i got to say, the aviation got... cocktail has set the bar very high. Ah, well, good. <laughs> we have um, some dry vermouth. This is Sprig and Seed from Westport Rivers Winery Great. in Westport, Mass. We have a chili pepper liqueur, add a little bit of spice to this, okay. because Michael Floyd was with the Arizona Cardinals. Boy, you're just a regular sports almanac. I'm right? <laughs> I'm really not. I'm really not, just I, for today. Well, we've you're got some, I'm faking it here. Fooling we've got everyone. Fresh, <laughs> some pineapple juice. We have a little bit of uh, vanilla syrup, oh, just to nice. kind of balance everything out, and palm, wonderful pomegranate juice. Doesn't vanilla make everything better? It sure you does. You know what I mean? It just adds that flavor. It sure does. And we'll give this a little shake. Has a nice red Patriots color as there well. Oh, just don't get Stand back. <laughs> and we'll strain it out into our glass here. All right. And to add a little bit of, you know, classic Super Bowl drinking, we'll put a little bit of beer on top. Some Sam Adams classic Massachusetts beer. That is okay with me, sir. I will sample away, and you will start and to work cement. on the third piece of this triumvirate, if you will, the yes. Fist House Punch. So the Fish House Punch is a classic Pennsylvania cocktail, dates back to the 1700s. And, of course, Punxsutawney Phil is in Pennsylvania. Right. So we have... I feel like I'm on a steak out behind. It's, like a, it's a salad. It's mm -hmm. a salad in, in the glass. Uh, we have cognac in here. We also have rum. This is actually rum from Newport. Um, same guys who do Newport Storm. Okay. Threw that in there. Let's pull the old switcheroo. You yeah, that let's one. do that. that. We, we have some black tea. Also a little bit of simple syrup in there. And what kind of adds that really nice seasonal touch is the peach liqueur here. We'll give it a little bit of a stir and garnish it. This is a dried orange slice right. and a little bit of freshly grated nutmeg on top. The fish house punch. I like it. Oh, and well, I need to. Well, you'll have that one. We can cheers away here. This is very good, I must say. And now we're going to do them all over again. Oh, we're going to do um, them again from the beginning. <laughs> So this is the aviation cocktail. Um, has Lux. Uh, I get it. Do you get it? <laughs> Groundhog I get, I get Day. It. Groundhog Day. Um, but these really are some. <laughs> that's hysterical. <laughs> these really are great, simple ideas that really can enhance any celebration. And when you come in here, you always sort of break it down from us. There's for us. There's no reason people can't try these at home. Right. Exactly. And these are ingredients you can get at the local grocery store. Nothing too too fancy. If you don't have one of these particular types of liqueurs or spirits, just use what you have at home. Experiment. That's obviously the best part of right. it, experimenting, trying to find what you like, what your palate likes. Have some fun, get creative. And, and, and get creative for Super Bowl. You know, not just beer, not just your traditional wine. Do a, do a nice punch for the, for the group, for the gathering. What I like about you is you really break it down for us. There's no reason why people should be intimidated and not try these in their own home. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, no, not What I like all. about you not is you break it all down for us. Cheers, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Always a pleasure to have Jonathan Pogash, the cocktail guru here. We will raise our glasses to those patriots. Cheers, everybody. And don't forget, you can enjoy even more food and drink ideas this weekend with the Big Game Tailgate. Three chances to catch it. Saturday night right here on WPRI at 7.30 p.m. Saturday on Fox Providence at 10.30 p.m.
p.m. and Sunday on my RITV at 11.30 a.m. as you are getting ready for the big game.